In this video, we are about to embark on a journey into the heart of Ghana, where two brothers have looked at the skies and thought, yeah, we can get there. Meet Isaac Otto and Jacob Labi, the dynamic duo who saw the Wright brothers and said, move over, we've got this. While most of us spend our free time watching TV shows or scrolling endlessly through our phones, these two are out in their backyard piecing together an aircraft with nothing but pure grit, scrap metal, and the kind of optimism that makes you question if they know something about physics that we don't. And what did they use to build this? Not cutting-edge aerospace materials. Not some billionaire-funded high-tech aviation equipment. No. These guys took one look at a pile of discarded junk and thought, perfect, let's build an airplane. And now, against all odds, and perhaps against the advice of common sense, their aircraft, the Gofi 1601, is sitting on a tarmac waiting for its grand moment. Whether that moment involves a glorious ascent or an unscheduled appointment with gravity, well, that remains to be seen. Otto and Labi took a significantly different approach. They went shopping in a scrapyard. Jacob and Isaac knew they were destined for greatness. At age 8, they manufactured their own car. Then, they decided to fulfill their long-standing dream of building an aircraft. In order to achieve this, they told me they started small in the backyard of their residence at Dom Pillar 2 and they used local materials such as iron square pipes, plywood and aluminum sheets to construct the light aircraft. This isn't so much state of the art as it is state of what we could find. Before the test run begins, they first need to check if everything is in order. Then a battery is brought in to kickstart the engine. Contact. 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 It's moving of ailerons. Check it again, yeah, the rudder, and then the nose wheel, yes, yes. And off goes Goffy 1601. My name is Isaac. That's why the plane is God has favored Isaac. It's a gift from God. So if I stand up and say I will do something, I just started and doing it. We can use this aircraft for police to patrol around. But hey, who needs expensive aviation grade materials when you have determination and few rolls of duct tape? If creativity were currency, these two would be billionaires by now. Because what they've built isn't just an aircraft. It's a statement. A statement that says, innovation doesn't wait for perfect conditions. It thrives where it must. Or alternatively, we were tired of traffic, so we built a plane. Alerons. Check it again, yeah, the rudder. And off goes Goffy 1601. Goffy 1601 can carry two people with a maximum weight of 757 kilograms. The engine, which runs on petrol, is a used Volkswagen engine which produces power to drive the propeller. Please, you see this one? This is called joystick. Dora Dakwa is understudying the brothers. She wants to become a pilot. We are not having alliances, so uh, the, the, the law is not giving us permit to fly. So we need alliances, and then the alliances also cost a lot. So we need a support. That's right. 
the brothers designed the airplane to be easily transportable because apparently drive your plane to a new location is now a thing. The wings can be removed like an oversized Lego set, making it ideal for, well, we're not quite sure about that. Maybe a road trip for a plane that can't fly yet? Either way, it's an innovative touch. Imagine showing up to a Kermit and pulling an airplane out of your trunk. That's quite a power move. As move around. Now, let's talk about what's powering this mechanical marvel. You might expect an engine designed specifically for aviation. Something lightweight. Something powerful. Something meant to be in the sky? Well, nope. It's a Volkswagen engine. A car engine to be specific. The same type of engine that once powered a modest road vehicle is now being asked to defy the laws of physics and take to the skies. Uh, we had a VW 40 horsepower engine that we used to convert into an aircraft engine. It took us about 10 years in building this thing and we started from scratch. We used um, a wood and we developed it from that stage to this, this stage. That's like taking a washing machine motor and expecting it to power a rocket or handing a calculator to a caveman and asking him to do taxes. But you have to admire the confidence. It's as if the brothers looked at their project and thought, you know what would make this better? The same engine that used to take Uncle Kojo to work. We thank you, Jehovah Almighty. And to be fair, Volkswagen engines are known for their durability. They've powered everything from cars to boats and some questionable DIY contraptions. But an airplane? That's a new one. So, will it work? Only time will tell, and maybe a very brave test pilot. Right now, the GoFi 1601 is sitting somewhere on a tarmac in Ghana, waiting for approval to take flight. And while some people might be skeptical, or just mildly terrified, you can't help but admire what these brothers have accomplished. They've built a two-seater aircraft, capable of carrying up to 800 kilograms, entirely from scrap and sheer willpower. They've taken the limits of innovation and gave them a one-way ticket to the sky. Sure, some might question the wisdom of strapping themselves into a homemade airplane powered by a recycled car engine. Some might even say, this seems like a great way to meet the ground at a high speed. But isn't that what innovation is all about? Taking risks, defying expectations, and doing something no one ever thought possible. So, will you dare to board this homemade marvel? Or will you prefer to stay safely on the ground, cheering from the sidelines with your popcorns? Either way, one thing's for sure. Isaac Otto and Jacob Labi have proven that the skies belong to those bold enough to reach for it. Whether this plane source or status, their legacy is already airborne.